Grade 3 math number 45. Multiply tens by a one digit number. Now the first thing I want you to remember is that a dot means multiply because sometimes when you're using a variable like an alphabet like this the X can confuse you so we're going to use a dot. Okay? So the first thing we're going to look at is this one. Okay? We have 10 times 4. That means we're going to have 4 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40. 10 times 4 is 40. Now it's almost the same thing as saying 1 times 4 and adding the 0. See? Here's what you do. You say 4 times 0 is 0 and 4 times 1 is 4. When we multiply the 1's place, we put the answer in the 1's place. And when we multiply the 10's place, we put the answer in the tens place. See how we did that? Okay, let's try this one. 30 times 7. Here's written with a dot. 30 times 7. We're going to multiply the ones place and put the answer in the ones place. 7 times 0 is 0. And now we're going to multiply the tens place and put the answer here. Now, if it's really big, it could go into the hundreds place. That's okay. That's fine. 7 times 3 is 21. See how that happened? Even though we're multiplying in the tens place, it got so big, it pushed us into the hundreds. That's okay. You can do that. All right? Let's try this one. 90 times 2. 90 times 2 with the dot. 90 times 2. 2 times 0 is 0. And 2 times 9 is 18. It's the same thing as saying 9 times 2, and then you add the 0. See? 9 times 2 is 18, and then we put the 0 at the end. See that? All right, let's try this one. 8 times 40. Written with a dot, it's 8 times 40 like that. Do you know what 8 times 4 is? 8 times 4 equals 32. Whoops. See that? Let's try it. 8 times 0 is 0, and 8 times 4 is 32. So our answer is 320. Let's try another one. 4 times 60. With a dot, it's written as 4 times 60. 4 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 6 is 24. Memorize those times tables. You'll go very, very slow doing your math work if you don't have them memorized. 9 times 50, 9 times 50, 50 times 9, same thing, backwards or forwards, right? So, 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 5 is, do you know what that is? If you don't, you're going to have to count by 5s. 9 times 5 is 45. So the answer is 450. It's like saying 9 times 5 and then we add the zero on the end, see? Try this one. Blank times 30 equals 120. Well, blank times 3 equals 12. What times 3 equals 12? 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. So, 4 times 30 equals 120. See? 30, 60, 90, 120. How about this one? The A is going to be our variable, and it's the reason we use the dot so that we don't get confused when using alphabet variables. A times 20 equals 60. What could A equal? Well, something times 2 equals 6 if we took the zeros away, okay? If we took these zeros away, something times 2 equals 6. 3 times 2 equals 6. So A is equal to 3. 3 times 20. 20, 40, 60. See? Let's try this one. X times 50 equals 0. Hmm. What could you multiply by 50 and only get a 0? Guess what? 0 
times any number is always 0. So x is equal to 0. How about this one? 7 times something is equal to 420. 7 times something is equal to 42. 7 times what equals 42? 7 times 6. Now because this one doesn't have the 0, this one's going to have to have the 0. So that's going to have to be 60 so that we can have that 0 there, see? Alright, how about here? B times 60 equals 60. Do you remember the identity rule? That whatever number is multiplied by 1 keeps the number keeps its name. So b is equal to 1. So when you're multiplying by tens, it's the same thing as multiplying by the smaller number. You just have a 0 added on. See how we did that? So remember, when you're dealing with algebra variables, that you can use a dot to mean multiply so you don't get confused if there's an x or an alphabet there, the variable. That's multiplying by tens. Keep up the good work, memorize that times table, and I'll see you next time.